If you ever try to stream Udemy courses through Google Chromecast on your Android Smart TV or Fire TV stick, you know it never works. I mean, it says, there was a problem with the Chromecast, please try again. And on the other hand, if you play the first video, and if you cast it on your First, TV, but before we start everything, it we works. need to figure out where we're starting and where we're ending up. We want to have a clear path of success. This course is going to start off with some React. On the other courses. hand, if you try again playing that video, it says there was a problem with Chromecast. Please try again later. And it, you just get the screen waiting for the lecture, which is very weird. And that's very pathetic. If you see Quora, there's tons of posts on this issue and it's this issue is since long and there's no Udemy app available on Android App Store. But it is recommended to watch courses on TV as it reduces your ciliary muscle spasm. As well as if you watch your courses from a distance on a bigger screen, it would relax your ciliary muscle, which is recommended. Don't watch binge watch your courses on your phone. As you can see, there is a lot of focus issue with your eyes. So how do we solve this problem? So in today's video, we are discussing two ways to stream your high quality Udemy courses on your big screen television. So the first step would be using Kodi, uh, which is not that good. I mean, it works, but it's not that reliable. And the second, the most reliable way, which should work for almost all of you guys, is through a PC. But definitely we want to control the courses from our remote and we don't want to depend on a PC. So first we will discuss how you can achieve that through Kodi. So without further ado, ado, let's get started. So guys, we will install Kodi first. So go to your Google Play Store and install Kodi. If you are on Amazon Fire TV Stick, uh, there is Kodi available. If it's not available in the App Store, you can always sideload it. I used to use Amazon Fire TV Stick and I used to sideload Kodi in it. So okay, Google, install Kodi from Play Store. Here's Kodi on the Google Play Store. So it's Android TV, so let's take that benefit. Uh, so it's installing. So Kodi has a plugin which allows you to uh, run your Udemy courses. Uh, now I actually tried it a lot earlier on my Fire TV stick. So I know it's not that reliable. Uh, but let's see if it gets improved and we're able to stream it properly. Otherwise we have a backup option. We can always stream Udemy from our PC which I mostly do and I will definitely share how we can achieve the same. So the Kodi is almost installed. So let's open it up. Kodi requires access to your device media. Uh, okay, continue. Allow. Preparing for first run. So Kodi is not just, it's not about the streaming courses, but it's about streaming movies if you have uh, i have like this nas drive here so i can stream the media files directly from this to my tv which is great and this is the reason why i used kodi and came across this feature so once you open the kodi go to the uh, settings section which you can go from directly from the top uh, and go to file manager and here you can add a source uh, now we need to install a repository in order to download this add-on because it is in third party repository. So let's uh, click on none and enter the path or browse for media locations. So here I'm going to enter the whole address of the repository which you can find in the links in the video description. Now you're going to hit OK. Uh, we're going to select you can name it anything uh, we will name it so this is a silly guy repository so s l y okay 
now we have silica repo and here we have the zip so now you go to add-ons uh, again click click from repository select lunatics and here you can uh, go to add-on repository and install silly guy repository okay this is what we want okay we're gonna hit install so this is the repository where the udemy plugin is so we need to do two ways uh, so now we can see silly guy repository is being added so silly guy repository and in that uh, we should get udemy so we will just search yeah you can see udemy so we're gonna hit install uh, and we're gonna select from this okay so there are some dependencies which needed to be installed so we will install that a little weird way to you know install from various sources so if you can get city repositories in some other way that's recommended otherwise you can follow these steps so you can see udemy add-on has been installed so if i go back to my add-ons uh, i should get udemy there so that would be in video add-ons basically you can see udemy uh, and you can auto update it uh, you can disable it and install it so let's open this up okay so you need to log in first so let let me enter my email address Again, you're sharing with some private repos, so make sure you trust them. That's why I say the second method is more recommended, but this is also works. Enter your password. Okay, so now you get the screen and here you can just go to my courses and there you have it you have all the courses right here and now you can use your remote to control it so let me try to play the video which was not working with this phone so i will go to that react course from zero to mastery zero master is my favorite uh, i have done of the courses and i highly recommend that the complete react developer in 2022 and you can see section one section two so i will start with section three because that was not working so i gonna start with the second one just to make sure it works uh you need to install the add-ons so it needs some add-ons so let us install that uh playback quality best okay it's loading welcome back in this video we are going to dive into the meat of the actual react code finally so and what we're going to do you can see it works you have literal media player uh you can actually skip through the part you can use the your media keys in order to skip you can play at the app.js as you can see you can fast forward and everything works it represents our entire and this region. is the section and not the first one so not like the your streaming way like you use your phone this is all standalone uh, this is highly recommended i'm gonna use this way now uh, but definitely you also have other than a way which i will just show you shortly so just have a course look welcome back everyone in the last video we leveraged npx to download the create react app package to help us and it also plays in background which is good in this video, but let's jump and you can pause so let's get on the desktop and see the another way uh hey what's up guys so the second step is to use your desktop so we are right now on my mac it doesn't matter it's mac windows or linux all you need is a web browser uh but sadly you can't use your favorite browser like uh um, it's my brave but i can't use that uh you need to use chrome because we're gonna use the chromecast feature and for that 
we need to use Google Chrome. Uh, this is a little bummer because I like to use Brave, uh, but no worries. So just log into Udemy.com. Uh, you can directly go to your course that you want to play. Okay, so this is the section three. Uh, we tried to run the third uh, in the Kodi. So we're gonna run the same video for instance. Or else we could try another video as well. So let's try don't uh, hooks versus classes. Uh, so all I have to do is just uh, click on this share icon that you see on the top. Click on cast. And you can see your TV here because this is Google Chromecast. So there you have it. Uh, now it should be on your television as well uh, and you can hit play I had to make this quick video to so talk audio about should be playing from there as well uh, now you will say why it is in full screen so that's easy you can just do this full screen know anything about the react and it will work well this discussion and the best benefit is that you know you can minimize this talks. do your work still now, it will be playing in background in the course, there's many which is ways to build good react components uh so that's pretty much for this video hope you like it uh give it a thumbs up if you like it if this is use if this is useful thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now